Hey guys, it's Ashley and I'm bringing you a video today with another fine fragrance review of a supplier out there that I think you need to know about. If you're new to my channel, my name is Ashley and I'm a serial entrepreneur. But for this specific video, I'm taking you guys along with me on my journey of becoming a candle maker and running a small business of candles. So today's video, mm, I'm pretty excited about for a couple of reasons. One, because another candle maker actually told me about this company that I'm about to review today, and they have literally just saved me. Saved me for a few reasons. They've instilled hope that there are really fine fragrance companies out there that are somewhat affordable. You know, you get what you pay for a lot in the fragrance community, and not to knock any individual supplier out there, but sometimes you just need to look for those refined smells, those scents that truly like take the bar up a notch. And this is one of those companies that I really feel strongly about. Um, I've worked with them a little bit in the sense that I have now gone through quite a few orders with them, um, buying some larger quantity of fragrance oils, things like that. And so far, so good. I haven't had any issues. The communication is really strong. Um, I will say that some of the suppliers that I use, like Porter Candle Supply um, and Makesy, which has gotten better on their turnaround times, um, they've kind of gotten instilled in in my mind, especially candle science. Do not let me forget candle science. Um, they're really quick to ship nowadays. And so it's really nice. You get kind of spoiled. Um, but let's give a little grace to the situation that um, this company is a small business. Um, I believe it's like a one woman show. If not, I think she has maybe a little bit of help, but nothing that's like a huge factory or anything like that, where these are just like being turned about really quickly. So all I would say about that is just plan your purchases in advance and give it some grace, give it some time, but it is well worth the wait. The company I'm gonna be talking about today is Scent Memory Fragrance. And I absolutely just love them. They're absolutely divine. Um, she actually included some scents from her latest release um, for me to smell with a um, 10 pound order that I just bought of a fall fragrance that I'm gonna be incorporating in my line. Um, so I'm gonna be smelling these for the first time with you guys. We'll see how this goes. There's so many, I'm so excited. Okay, let's just get started. First and foremost, Palo Santo Woods. I mean, it's delightful. I'm pretty particular about my Palo Santo. Also know that a lot of these scents, I will tell you, are dupes from like high-end fragrance companies or products that you might see out in the market now and perfumes, colognes, candles, all the things. So I apologize if I'm butchering something, if this is a dupe of something and it's maybe not my flavor or whatever it might be. But as far as Palo Santo is concerned, I definitely smell the Palo Santo. I'm not sure what the other notes are in there. You know your girl, I do not do my research ahead of time. This is definitely though like a high-end woodsy smell. And I have a feeling I'm probably going to say that about all of these scents right now. It's not particularly my favorite. Again, I have a Palo Santo in my line right now that I think is just absolutely spot on. Um, I hope to change it and move it at some point because things are expensive. Okay, I'm going to butcher this. So I'll put it in the comments below or the description below. Pain de Pisces? Clearly, I'm not paid for this type of endorsement. Oh my goodness, this is like a, I'm getting something spicy. So again, I don't know what the scent description is of this, but it's definitely spicy and it's a nostalgic scent that I'm like tapping into. This would be a really, really good holiday scent. And beyond that, I leave you to explore what the rest of that means. All right, this is Fertile Valley. Oh my goodness, this would be a wonderful spring scent. This would be something that, you know, <laughs> I make funny reels about it but I know there's a market for it. This almost feels like a fresh rainfall. Summer, I don't know. I almost feel like I'm getting little hints of lemongrass, but I might be fooling myself on this one. This one, I would definitely put as a maybe of something that I would explore. I would wanna see how it would throw in a candle. Um, and just so you guys know, they do these do work with soaps, lotions, things like that. That one would be a maybe for me. Um, the first one would be a maybe for me. The Palo Santo Woods, it would take some getting used to. A Boulangerie. I've actually heard um, quite a few rumblings about this scent, so I'm really excited. Absolutely 100% a croissant in a bottle. It's like the skinniest croissant you will ever witness. Oh my good lord. I could eat this. Yes. 
this is a hard yes. If you're going for like a bakery kitchen, um, something sweet smell, absolutely 10 times hands down. This is another one that I was really excited to smell. It's Palm au Carmel, Caramel, Caramel. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Caramel in a bottle, like warm, comforting holiday in a bottle. I will be pouring a sample of this one. And you know that means a lot because your girl does not like testing. It has to happen. Waffle cone. Oh my gosh, these are like, this is like a triple threat if this one's going to go in the direction, I think. It definitely went in the direction that I thought. <laughs> and I don't really like love sweet smells because I feel like they just make me hungry. I almost wonder if you could mix waffle cone and the palm au caramel. I don't know if that would be too much because they could definitely live alone, but that would make me pretty, pretty curious. Um, if anybody does try this and mixes those two, you have to let me know how that goes. All three of those, I mean, I'm gonna have to go to the bakery and get waffles with caramel at this point. Um, this one is Tennis Anyone, also was a conversation piece. I guess it's, I don't know if it's supposed to smell like tennis balls, balls. <laughs> I mean, it does kind of smell like tennis balls. I am so sorry if that's not supposed to. This is probably not for me. This would probably be more along the Palo Santo woods. I don't really know what to expect and I don't really know what I'm smelling. But I could see this being one of those scents that people like really latch on to, kind of like rain. Interesting. Tennis Anyone. The Woodworker's Cottage. Another one that I was really, really excited about. Oh, and it might be a miss for me. This reminds me of like my grandfather. My grandfather always had his entire garage set up, just knickknacks tinkering with things. And this literally like taps into that nostalgia for me. It's not necessarily a scent that I personally would want in a candle, but this is very interesting. And I could see again, this being like a niche piece, kind of like that tennis anyone. So that's probably a no for me, but I get it. Oh my gosh. I think this is the one that I wanted. It's black plum. And I will make all of the adjustments in the description box below once I type it or once I look it up. But I think this is the black plum one that I was like very, very curious about. Hold, please. This is it. I am so excited. This is the one that I had my eye on for holiday. And it's definitely, I just got it all over me now. I think the rest might be ruined for me to get to. But this is definitely a holiday scent. This is definitely something that like I, I could see like transitioning from Thanksgiving to Christmas into New Year's. It's very warm. It's very rich. Plum is definitely the base note of it. This is really, really high end. Well done. Well done, Kristen. Next is Trim the Tree. Another one that I was pretty excited. I basically was excited about all of them. I'm just going to quit that shit right now. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Anything tree scent, anything balsam, anything Fraser fir, anything like that. By the way, they have a Fraser fir smell that I'm definitely rolling with moving forward. This is 100% do your candle line a favor, add a tree scent. I actually never was a big holiday candle person, which is so ludicrous to think of. Like I just always stayed in my lane of home goods and Target of like what I wanted to purchase my candles of, but I never really got into like the holiday scent craze. I don't know where I was with that, you guys. I was apparently like on another planet or something. This one is Okie Dokie Hinoki. Mm, not mine. Not my favorite. I have no idea what I'm smelling. This one is definitely more, there's got to be some like floral or like key ingredient in this that I'm missing. I get the allure to this, but it is personally not for me. It is something, there's something in it that's um, pungent almost. I know I keep saying like lemongrass, but like, you know how there's always like a key ingredient that like gets you. It's definitely in this. I just don't know what it is. I hope I'm doing this all justice. Golden hour. I only have one left and I'm so sad about that. I love this. I don't know what I'm smelling. There is something about golden hour in this. It's adequately named. There is an ingredient in this that again, kind of like the okie dokie Hinoki. I don't want to say it's like spicy, but it's definitely pungent to the sense that I actually think this one would have a really, really good throw. Um, 
there's an ingredient in this. I'm going to have to look it up, guys. I really should probably do more research on these, and I'm sorry that I don't. But the reason why I don't is because then I just say the same words over and over and over again um, based on the scent description. So I, I kind of am trying to do you guys a favor. This one is Mint Julep, which was another one that was talked about quite a bit in the group. Okay, so I'm from Ohio originally. I go to the Kentucky Derby. Any chance that I get Mint Julep. This definitely is minty. It definitely smells like a fresh plant, like a mint plant. Not like a mint essential oil, if that makes sense. This would do really, 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 really well in a candle. I just, I feel it. I have a mint in my line and it always is surprising. I have no idea what the remainder of this title is, but I know it's mint julep something. That's my quick synopsis. My fan favorites actually were quite surprising to me. La Boulangerie, Palm au Carmel, and Waffle Cone. Um, Trim the Tree, of course. Palo Santo Woods, Tennis Anyone, and The Woodworker's Cottage. I feel like those all would be like really good time pieces for somebody that would have like that trigger to nostalgia for them. Not personally my favorite. I think the one that I'm definitely gonna roll with is that plum scent. I hope this helps you guys. I love doing these review videos. If you want them and if you like them as well, please leave the comments below. If you've tried Scent Memory Fragrance, please tell me which ones you love. I am building quite the collection of this brand. I am here for it. I appreciate the good work that is being done behind the scenes and the quality products that are coming alive. So thank you, Kristen, for sending these extras to me. Um, Anytime you want to send some extras, girl, I ain't going to be mad at you because I'm here for it and I am here to support you. Guys, if you have any questions about anything candle making, or maybe you're just kind of stuck in some things that are going on right now with your business, ready to launch, already launched, thinking about launching. I don't even know what it might be. Maybe it's just a marketing or business question, some roadblocks that you're having. I do offer 30 for 30. So $30, 30 minutes. We meet over Zoom and we try and reduce overwhelm, remove roadblocks, and we get to connect at the same time. And if you guys haven't yet, please subscribe. It means the world to me. I love putting time and energy behind the scenes in this YouTube world. I just appreciate you guys coming along for this ride with me. Thank you guys so much. Bye-bye.